Welcome, my name is Frederick Mellon, aka Mr. Mel. So, today I'm gonna go over how to program a YG controller in uh, governor store mode. It's um, using the internal governor. I need my speed controller, a receiver. I have a test motor here. You can actually use your motor in your helicopter if you remove the main blades or back off uh, the pinion. Never do programming of a speed controller with a motor fully connected. Uh, also, recommendation from YG is to do programming with less cell count than you actually gonna fly. So if you're gonna fly 12S, do the programming with 6S. Uh, it's a safety measure. You will need the prog card. Uh, I will go through the programming part of that one. Just to mention, the programming cable of the YG looks like this. On its end there is a small um, loopback cable. It is to prevent interference. When you're done with the programming, put that back on there. Uh, it helps. It's, I should say it's only on the high voltage versions. You will see that you don't need it on the low voltage uh, version. There is no... Uh, interference on that. It's uh, wh when the volt go up, then the interference go up as well. So I'll uh, start with the programming part. When it comes to the programming of the endpoints of the radio to learn, let the speed controller learn the endpoints. There is actually two ways of doing it uh, out on the internet, uh, written. As of this moment, YG themselves recommend using the stick method, only doing programming via the radio stick. Uh, so uh, please do that. Do not do the other special version with the uh, programming card. I will show the stick version here. To do that, I need a linear 0 to 100 throttle curve with my endpoints in the radio 100 100. And um, I'll show how that's done. In this case, as it's a high voltage controller, there is no BAC, so I have to have a receiver pack. Uh, in case you had a low voltage version, you would need, not need that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to 100, throttle 100, full throttle, and then plug in the main receiver or main um, battery pack. Wait for beeps, starting dit dit dit, then move to zero throttle. That will learn. Uh, teach the speed controller what the endpoints are. And now there is actually uh, the speed controller is armed, so if I bump the throttle, it would start the motor. And if I had a helicopter connected here, you can understand it could be dangerous. That's why use half the cell count and also uh, never have blades on. So that teaches the endpoints. In the speed controller. Now we're gonna do the prog card. Always do it in this sequence because when you do this uh, programming of the endpoints, it actually reset some parameters in the uh, speed controller, which has to be now set with the prog card. It's now time to connect the prog card, and then I'm gonna do it this way that I actually. Plug in the prog card on the ESC side. Now, the other side says RX. I could make a cable from the receiver uh, to that, but since I, I don't need that signal really from the um, uh, receiver anymore, so I can just plug in a battery. Um, it will work that way. Uh, but what I want to do is plug in the main pack first that starts up the speed controller but it f detects that the, the prog card is active so it doesn't arm and then I plug in the battery pack and then it detects that and go into programming mode. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. When we start up the programming it's on the first page there is two pages available uh, it's the first page that is active. Here I can set timing, break, cutoff type, uh, cutoff voltage, cell count, and some special functions. In this case, I want to use, uh, let's say, LiPo. 
uh, and it's set for lipo and slow down good that's enough for me uh, it's set to 3.1 voltage that's okay for me cell count is six, six cells uh, it might I, I should perhaps set it higher but uh, for this exercise it's okay uh, then I want to jump over to the second page and then that I do by holding um, these two buttons for two seconds release oops I have to do it again and then that lamp there starts to blink that means I'm in the second page here uh, and now we have freewheel on and governor off I want to have my governor store so I'm just gonna scroll over here uh, to governor store press enter then I'll go to freewheel on press enter then I can change P gain and I gain that's how hard uh, uh, governor is gonna try to keep the RPM I won't change that at, at this moment then I can change the startup speed it's set to heli fast I actually want to change that to heli middle and then PVM frequency is set to 8 kilohertz it's okay for that motor that depends on the motor not nothing else and then I want to set my startup power in this case it's I need for this bench testing motor I need 4% uh, for a high voltage setup you shouldn't use above 2% out or 2% nothing more but for this bench test I need to run 4 so that's done I can now unplug the speed controller always main power first and as I said put back the loopback cable on the programming cable so now the speed controller is ready to fly I actually should put it in the helicopter I should remove the main blades uh, I can keep the tail blades but I should um, spool up to 100% and there is a thing here that you have to remember you should charge the packs to 4.0 volt per cell before you do this there is uh, a couple of things here the voltage on the cell determine how much overhead you will have later on there is um, if you have really lousy packs you might want to do the programming part with 3.8 you will get more overhead that's the thing if you do it with a fully charged pack there will not be uh, enough overhead in the end of the flight but performance wise if you have mediocre or good packs there is no difference in doing it in at 3.9 or 3.8 or 4.0 but the end result where if I put 20 or 75 percent throttle on my radio where will that give 2100 or 2000 rpm it will differ depending on which voltage you used when it teaching the uh, speed controller and that's why if you look at my head speed calculator uh, when you select the YGE with the governor store mode you get a little drop down where you can select if you use 3.9 or 4.0 voltage and that's just because it it just differs when it, it does the uh, teaching or learning part what I want to do here is I also want to have a lower voltage because the risk of anything breaking and uh, what I'm gonna do is spool up things to 100% and if people are doing that on a 600 size helicopter with fully charged packs we're talking about 2700 rpms or so on the main rotor and people have done it without main blades but with tail blades and then the tail literally exploded because it was not built for that high speed so taking it down a couple of notches also makes it safer for your helicopter in this case I'm gonna do this on the bench uh, it's gonna sound a lot but um, there is not recommended you should not do it in reality on the bench it's just for for uh, demonstration purposes so I connect my pack in this case on the helicopter uh, actually I have to have my receiver pack as well there we go 
Now the helicopter is armed and actually we're gonna go full throttle and we will have a soft start and we will wait for it to spool up completely. And there it blipped and it's actually done. It has learned its um, RPM. has learned its RPM range and is done. That's that's the whole purpose. It drives the motor as fast uh, as it can with this voltage and then it knows okay this is where I should be. So next time we spool up and every uh, time after that it will keep the same RPM for the same percentage in the radio. You can still change your RPM if you're flying at uh, 2001 2050 you just raise it a couple of percentage and it will give you a higher head speed but it knows a, which range it should work so 75% in the radio will always be whatever it might be in your case so that concludes the programming of the YGE controller